Hey, how's it going? Recently, I went to a car show at Parramatta Jail down near Sydney, and I've got some coffee beans from there. It's these guys. Modernized Italian espresso blend, notes of cocoa, caramelized cherry, and brown spice. And then it's just got a just got a little skyline on there as well. So five roast level, six strength, and five body. <coughs> if you hear my voice, I'm sick, so I'm just coming out of it, so I'm just coughing horrendously. So because I'm sick, you know, coffee always helps. So I'm gonna try these new beans out. But I wanna show you these photos that I took at the car show. You know, not, not bad photos, I must say. These photos were taken with the iPhone 14 Pro. I got questions from the people that I was with. Why didn't you bring the camera? And I just went, I don't know. I just didn't decide to bring the camera with me. I just wanted to bring my iPhone, you know, experience it all, you know, take photos like a, you know, a car fan would. And walking around, because it's such a big kind of event for car enthusiasts, I seen people walking around with heavy duty cameras. This one guy, he had camera here. It was a Leica camera. That's about nine to 10 grand in of itself. And then he had a red camera in the other hand and that's, I don't know, 40, 40 grand, 60 grand possibly. So he's got about nearly 80 grand worth of gear just around him. I could not trust myself with that. And that begged me the question, can the newest iPhone of iPhone 14 Pro take a better photo or match a photo with a professional photography camera. So I wanted to test that out. I wanted to make coffee and you know take a photo of the coffee uh, from the phone and the camera. So let's make some coffee. That was incredibly hard doing that with one hand. And go. So while that's going, the Canon EOS R has 30 megapixels, a full frame sensor, so about 35 mil by whatever it is. And the iPhone has on their one times camera has 45 or 48 megapixels but it's a 1.128 inch sensor. So you'll get more low light out of the Canon EOS R and possibly more quality, only because this is such a small sensor and you have to fit so much into a phone and do other things other than photography and it's mainly all software. But with the capabilities of RAW, can the phone do better? So what we're gonna take photos of is this Chemex, we will take photos of it, and then we'll send them all into Lightroom, edit them the same way, and get the same photos as roughly as we can, and then compare and see if anyone can tell the difference. Well, while that's still here, I feel like we need to keep the thing in here. So, I'll move this out of the way. We will start off with the phone. We'll take photos with the phone and see how they go. When you go onto your phone, you want to go to your photos and up here, you can see a raw thing. Turn that on. And we will stick mainly with the one times zoom, but we will go maybe two times, three times and 0.5 times, depending on what we want to go. But we're going to try and keep it relatively same as using maybe a 24 to 105 on here or a 50 mil. All right. 
Well, give me a few seconds and I'm gonna capture some photos and wish me luck. Cool, yeah. Well, that's the phone photography done. Um, now, I'm gonna switch over to video footage on phone and then we'll take some photos on here. All right, I'm on camera, phone now. So, let's fix up this. It's not bad. Who editing sweet? Welcome back. I finished them. I've just got to export them. Um, what do we call this? Coffee photos. That was entirely fun. Um, I tried to make it as hard as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those two pairs of photos. So I'll have the first set of photos, side A and side B, and you'll decide whether you think side A is the phone or side B is the phone or it's the camera or the camera. You get the whole gist. I'll put the second set up after 10 seconds um, and then after those another 10 seconds, I'll put up single photos and you just guess whether you think it's the camera or the phone and then we'll come back and we'll discuss the difference. So, how did we do? Honestly, if you did, if you got all of them right, good little work to you. Um, you get a thumbs up from me. If you didn't get any right, then this video proves my point. Now, when it comes to nighttime photography, there'll be a difference. With the Canon EOS R, it's 30 megapixels within a full frame sensor. So you've got more room to let light in. Whereas the iPhone, is 48 megapixels, but in such a small sensor. So it's not letting a lot of light in, but you're still getting somewhat decent quality out of it. So if you'd like to see a part two or another video where I go out at night and take photos with the R and the iPhone, let me know and I will go do that for you. So my whole point in this video is you don't need the best gear. You know, people think that gear is the most important thing and you need the best lens, you need 
the one with the lowest aperture. You need the best camera with the best megapixels. It helps. I've got the 50mm 1.8, the nifty 50, and I've got my big donk 70 200 f 2.8. These great lenses, amazing lenses to use in specific moments. You know, I use this at the F1, I use this for portraits, um, I use this sometimes when I'm at car meets. Um, so, you know, they all have their own spot and a 24 to 105 is just, I just use that lens because it's all rounder. Like I said, the gear helps. The best gear helps you take the best photo. And because phones are becoming so much more evolved now, they're being targeted for small content creators, for people who want to vlog their life, who want to take photos with just their phone. You can do that. I want this video to get to people to say that you don't need to spend thousands of dollars on a camera and take it everywhere with you because it is bulky. Yes, it is bulky. And you know, you're gonna look like a professional photographer even though you may not be one and you just wanna take random photos of your family or your cars or you know, go to events and take photos. And a compact camera will be cheap. They, the lowest they range from is about 400 to about you know, maybe one and a half thousand. And this iPhone 14 Pro cost me about two, two and a bit grand, I'll, I'll say. And yes, you may think that's a lot for a phone, you know, but you're getting a phone, great camera. You know, you've got three lenses. One's a 48 megapixel, two are 12 megapixels. But as you've just seen, this can take amazing photos. So that is it. That is all. <coughs> oh. Oh. I did so good. I did not cough. I coughed once, but throughout the entire video, I only coughed once, now twice. I was doing so well. It is insanely cold. So once my sickness goes away, we are back to normal and it'll be winter and I'll be happy just to just cruise through winter without getting sick. Knock on wood. <laughs> <coughs> There's three now. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just something that came in my head while I was at the car show and just seeing everyone with you know, big bulky cameras and me with an iPhone taking photos that probably almost match the same. Now you may be seeing that I am slightly moved over. Normally I'm like over on the corner. If I just quickly take you, oh, oh, oh and that's it, that's it, no. <laughs> it's, it's really not much. All I did was just move the office around office, studio, whichever you want to call it. I moved it around. I wanted it to be more open. So that's why I'm kind of here now. And it honestly just feels better because I can move around now and just slide in and out and spin around and not feel contained in a corner. So thank you all for watching. It is my birthday next week. So I am insanely excited for that. So I'll be making a film, taking some photos, and you know edit anymore so maybe gone for a couple of weeks just to make it all perfect get it all done for you and then that way when you see me again i will be 20 years old the big 2-0 people so i will see you around good bye and good riddance Still don't know how I'm gonna end these videos either. I'm a beginner YouTuber, all right? I'm content creator, filmmaker, photographer, and still don't know how to end a video. See ya. Boy. Coming back, because I got to stop recording. <laughs>